Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video, as you probably told by the title, is we're starting a brand new build series. This is my first build series with the new Weapons DLC and we are going to be building an A-10. Yes, one of the most popular planes at the moment because of the new Rotary Autocannon. So we're going to be building it, I'll be taking you along for the full ride from start to finish. I'm going to be starting with absolutely nothing and hopefully ending up with a really nice plane. I'll show you guys how to get it all set up, how to build jet engines, how to add weapons, all kinds of cool things. So let's get in the workbench and let's get started. So to get started we're in the workbench and the first thing we're going to do is enable symmetry. Now I'm going to try and keep this to as realistically sized as possible, I don't want it to be too large. So we're going to go with a roughly around, I think, what about... 14 15 meters plus minus one correct somewhere in terms of that length for the size so once we've got that in terms of our length we're going to now start building it up and we can start adding more pieces now i'm just going to get the general framework of this set up and then we're going to obviously trim it down later on and make it look a little better but i mean like let's go with something like that for now and once we've got that on you can imagine that we would have our cockpit here in the front and then from there we'll start going down and so on so let's start here and i mean what we can do like one two one two one two and then i guess cockpit over there so i'm just going to delete some of these blocks off and we'll start adding some wedges and i'm just getting my general shape uh it's not the final shape i mean we're probably going to change it at some point but uh it's good to start by doing this and then you can kind of get your design and where you want to go from there so once we've got that you can straight away see how we're going to curve I mean, we can come underneath here and do the same thing, maybe like a one by two wedge. Uh, we could even do like a, just a regular one wedge, actually. And then maybe into like a one, two, something like that. And you can imagine the the rotary autocannon is going to be underneath here. Yeah, well, I guess that should be all right. So we could probably put the rotary autocannon there. Yeah, it looks okay. Let's go and smooth this out here in the front a bit to make it look a little better. So we're going to try and get a nose design. I mean, this might not be perfect, but we'll see how we get on. So let's go and do that. And then we can use like the inverse pyramids and the one by two pyramids over here. So there, 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 maybe there, etc. And let's go and flip this, rotate it and bring it all the way up like that. And then over here, we can go into like a one pyramid. And then I guess we can do like the cockpit here. So we could do one, two like that and maybe like a one by two edge here cockpit cockpit and then we'll start going down in our cockpit so we can do like a one by four one by two something like that you can imagine that's going to be the cockpit you can really see start to see how the shape is starting to come together uh, i mean we need to get this definitely need to get it wider so we're going to use what like a one by four wedge here here maybe yeah sure one by four wedge there and we'll use that to slope up so let's try and use like a two by four here something like that and then over here we'll use a one by four inverse possibly let's see i mean it doesn't look great but it doesn't look too bad actually you know what we could do is when we replace this with that and then we can use the two by two pyramids. Now I like to build my cockpits using blocks or wedges first. And then once I've got my general design, then I like to go and edit it later on and make changes. I don't know. It's just how I'm used to building my cockpits and things. Uh, and then once I kind of have the shape I want, then I'll go and edit uh, or XML edit some pieces to make it look a little better. Uh, once I got that, let's go and put that there. Maybe this here and then maybe some wedge pieces that and maybe some wedge pieces here and possibly we can go into like we want to get this to meet don't we so that I mean, we could bring this back by one let's do over there okay that should be all right uh bring that there and then we can do this all the way along fill all of this in like so okay that's not bad it's start starting to come together i need to fill that piece in so let's grab a one by two pyramids or one by sorry two by four put that in uh and then here let's do hmm, maybe the one by four pyramids over here See what that's gonna look like we have to do something like that i guess that could work couldn't it delete some of this off and we were to place this here like so 
and then bring this forward. Could this fit here? It would fit definitely fit there. Here, well, I mean, here we're probably going to get rid of this in any case because we're probably going to put the rotary water cannon like over here somewhere. So that should be all right, actually. We start with that design. Uh, and then let's move our way back. So delete that, delete that, and delete that, and then drag that, delete this, and drag this one across. You can also drag these, which makes it so much easier to build. And then I guess here we could just go back into like a one by one wedge. Yeah, sure. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Our nose of our A10. I mean, you would imagine, let's imagine that this is the cockpit over here in black. I like to paint it, as I said, keep it in wedges. That way you can tell where your cockpit is. And then later on, once we get the general shape and I'm happy with it, then I'll go and edit it and make it XML. So yeah, that looks all right. Um, I mean, I'm guessing what probably everyone's waiting for to see is us adding the rotary autocannon. So I'll probably do that next. Make sure I can fit it. Because now the rotary autocannon is quite big in Stormworks. So you need to have quite a lot of space. I mean, we've got all of this free space inside here to put it. Now, I would like to actually have it that we can have several drums on it. So one thing is that we're going to put it in here like this and delete this off to put it in to start with uh, like that. But what I would like is I would like it to come back and out. So you can imagine this is going to go there and we're going to have a belt that's going to feed all the way back. I mean, that's pretty good, actually. Now. I know normally it extends itself out by like two or three more blocks. So what I might do is I might actually just bring this back by like three blocks and put it over there and then put an extension piece on it. Like that. I mean, that might be too far back. I mean, let's leave it like that for now and we can always come back and we're going to put the belts over here and that's probably going to go back to our drums and we'll have all of our drums and things inside the fuel solage of the plane. I mean, yeah, we can probably have all our drums and things inside here, uh, which will be pretty neat, I think. So we can go and fill this in, just like so. And yeah, that gives us quite a bit of extra space in there. And then we can also fill all this in, like that, and even fill this in. Cool. I mean, that's not bad, is it? I guess we could, I mean, we could extend this one forward, couldn't we? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure. We delete that by like two and then put it in. That would look a little better. And that's the thing with building is that you just have to keep on messing about with your designs until you're happy. I think I'm really happy with that. I might bring it back one later, but uh, for now I'm happy with that. So that gives us enough space to bring it back here. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, here is where we're going to have the belts and the belts are going to come back like that. Now, the cool thing is with this is we don't lose any cockpit space inside here. So we can see we've got plenty of space for cockpits and then we can use a belt. I was thinking of using a belt like this, like so, adding it in then using one of the corner pieces and bringing our belt backwards. And then we can have a whole bunch of drums here like this, like the medium or even the large ones. And we could do something like that, that, that. And that way we can just put like junction, 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 or even, I mean, we could, we could delete that and do it like this. And that way we can just feed right through all those drums in, in a line. So that could also work quite well. I mean, all we need is another belt here and another belt here. And there we go. We've now hooked that up and we've got, I don't even know how many rounds, but a lot of rounds to play with. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with that to start off with. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, um, but it's definitely not bad for a quick little design. And we'll refine this as we carry on with the build series. I do need to paint the side. I don't know why I didn't paint. Oh, it's still that damn bug that we have here in Stormworks. All right, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go and build what the wings. I guess we can do the wings, can't we? So wings generally, I probably want the wings... Where do I want the wings? So let's maybe go. No, wings are gonna go out. Yeah, wings of a plane. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Okay, we'll edit those later, of course. Uh, how far back I want to get it? Mm, probably not that far back. Maybe here. 
yeah why not there and then i don't need them that wide maybe that wide and then we're going to have our jet engines here and then our tail over here yeah that would actually work i think uh that that's pretty cool so let's go here and let's start going down in our size because this does normally go down a bit so we can do something like that's over there and we can do the same thing here here so bring this down like so cool uh, I mean, we could probably put that into some wedge pieces. Let's leave it like that for now. And pretty happy. Bring that all the way to the back there. And I mean, here we could probably start coming back down for our tail. And the same thing underneath the plane, we can start bringing this back and and getting a little bit more thinner. So for example, I probably wanted to start dropping off there. And then probably like there. And probably there. And then probably there. So you can see how we're slowly starting to make it. I mean, we could start this process from here. We don't have to start it from there. We can slowly bring it back from there, I guess. Bring this one back even more. Sit there. Bring this one over here. You can see how I'm just bringing it slowly, just sweeping it back like that. And the idea is that I'm probably going to get my rear landing gear a little bit lower than my front landing gear. That will be a little bit of an angle. So that would be, I guess, pretty cool. So let's go and start finishing with these wings. So we're going to take this and bring it out like that. Now, I think with the A10, it's got the wings are flat in the front and the rear pieces are the ones that go and slide in. So... I could be wrong, or it might be the other way around. I think the front is flat. Once again, this is not going to be an identical replica. This is just going to be my idea of what the plane should look like. Uh, once we've got that, I mean, we can probably start building our jet engines and things and start laying that on. So I guess we could probably do jet engines about here. Bring that out. Bring it out. And then start adding the jet engine pieces. Let's go one, two. Now... Let's see what we have to our disposal in terms of building blocks. I mean, we'll probably add the jet engine something like that. That being a corner piece and that being a corner piece, possibly. Let's see what that's going to look like. So you can imagine we're going to have the cover there and the cover here. Let's go to the front. Yeah, I guess that would work. And then you can imagine that we would bring this out like... So, one, two, three, go into a wedge piece. Once again, come up like so, and then put this, oops, put this into another corner piece, like a wedge piece. And we'll probably enclose that off. Now, for the front, do we have any pieces like jet pieces that fit there? We've got the small intake. That's way too small. Uh, we've got the large intake. Oh, it's too big. Uh, what about a fan? Can we get a fan that works there? Uh, yeah, a small ducted fan could work, I guess. So, does that fit? Oh, yeah, that fits almost perfectly. Okay, let's delete that, delete that, delete that. And let's see if we can get that in. So, if I was to come... Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And that can even be connected up to give us some thrust. Oh, that's quite nice. Nice, okay, cool. Uh, once I've got that, I need to get my jet engines inside here. But I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm going to get my design of my plane done first so let's just carry on building this right, we're gonna go there maybe make it nice and make it look nicer so something like that and so maybe grab a one by two pyramids something like that put it inside gonna go that side uh and then we need to do the tail piece so we can probably lose that there and possibly even come a little bit thinner here but we do need some tail piece so i guess we can do something like that how far out do we need to go probably to about there probably don't need to go that much either like that and then i guess what like up here like so and then down here like so that's probably a little bit out of proportion but hmm, why not why not why not why not do something like that and then maybe like one by four here Maybe another one by four. And then maybe underneath here another one by four. Does that look right? No, that's too that's too low. Let's do something like that. Maybe a one by two and 
I mean something like that. Yeah, sure. Let's get rid of this thing over there. Oh yeah, that doesn't look bad, eh? doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, what about my control surfaces so we're going to be able to go left and right and stuff? Can we fit like a large one here? That's a medium. Medium is, I guess, one too big for a medium. Hmm. What if I was to drop this down? That could work, couldn't it? Do that. That way we can get the control surface that perfectly fits on there. I delete some of that. Grab a control surface again. Uh, take symmetry mode off. That could work. Yeah, that could definitely work. I mean, I might want to bring that in a bit. It looks a little bit wide, doesn't it? Let's put, uh, let's put me put, let me put a wing here, like one of these wing pieces. Yeah, okay, let's, yeah, let's bring this in. That way I can fit a perfect wing piece in here. Cool, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, symmetry mode back on. Let's go and maybe make this look a little cooler. And go into like a one by four block and bring this out and maybe grab a one by four wedge like that. Yeah, that should be all right. I mean, we don't have to go into one by four. I mean, we could, we could be like do just a normal one by one wedge. So something like that. And then this way we can do another one by one wedge there. And slope. Just play around with that. Now we do need to have some control surfaces here. So actually let's do that next. So that would be for elevation and things. Uh, can we use a small one? Small one fits. Oh, yeah, small one fits perfectly. That's great. That that fits perfectly. I'm really happy with that. I might bring this in a little bit more. It feel uh, or depends. I guess it depends on how big our engines are. Um, okay, let's finish doing our wings now. The wings should have the landing gear. I mean, what should we skip? Skip a few blocks and maybe do the landing gear over there. Yeah, sure, why not? So we'll delete that, put this there. We're going to put the landing gear, which is going to fit into this compartment underneath here. And it's going to eventually go there. Delete the top piece now. And... Yeah, and then probably from here, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to get like a pivot or a hinge or something, and I'm going to angle these wings upwards so you get a little bit of a slant on it, which I think will look really cool. Uh, before we do that, I'm just going to go and just put some stilts on this like that and uh, maybe a stilt here at the back. And I'm going to spawn this in because I want to see what it's going to look like. Okay, it's a little bit front heavy, but I mean, that's fine. And that doesn't look too bad. Looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's go back. Um, maybe let's go to the jet engines next because that way we can get some weight in the back. We can also add some fuel tanks and things. Uh, so jet engines, we're going to start with a small intake. We might remove the small intake actually. Um, do we really need an intake just in case that will help our jet engine. And then we're going to go into Jet compressor. Great, we're then gonna go into the combustion. That's the thing that has the fuel. Make sure it faces the right way, so it faces towards the back. Uh, and then we can go into, I mean, we could probably use a, a, a large turbine because that way we can use the power to push the fans and maybe do some generators and things, so why not? And then the last thing we need is our exhaust. Now I'm just going to go with a straight exhaust. I'm not going to do anything fancy in terms of exhaust. Uh, we might add afterburners later, but at the moment I think I'm pretty happy with what we have so far. Uh, and we can even enclose this in, like so. And then here at the back we can make a nice design to make this look a little cooler. Why not? So we're just going to use maybe like a 1 by 2 wedge. On the back here. Cool. Okay, so 1 by 2 wedge. Throw that in. Grab another one on this side. I've got symmetry mode on, so I don't have to do the other side. The great thing of having symmetry mode on. I remember any of these blocks, you can drag them to build them much quicker. It does really help. And you can, instead of going back in your inventory, trying to find the components, you can just hold control and you can select the components on your screen. All right, cool. Let's go and throw that up. Oh, let's go and do the back. So there and there. 
we'll finish this back piece later. Let's go into one then. I want to see how heavy it is. It should now be quite heavy at the back. No, still not enough. I mean, we need to give it a little more weight at the back to make it sure it stays the right way. But that's fine. We're probably going to add fuel and a few more things. Let's just add some weight blocks. For now, just for the purpose of seeing what it looks like for the first, first time ever. Should stay. Yep, there we go. I mean, it went down again, didn't it? But that is starting to come together quite nicely, I think. I mean, for a quick little build, this is not bad. Okay, um, we could even lower these, couldn't we? Make this one lower. Okay, let's focus our attention on to these covers or inserts that are going to be used for the... We're going to use this for to hide the landing gear. So we're going to add this maybe a little bit forward. So one by two wedge, one by one wedge, and then maybe into like another one by one wedge, something like that. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, and then we can grab one by two inverse pyramids, one, two, and do the same thing on the other side. Rotate one and two, and then we can add another one here. And actually, I should have gone into, I should have just dragged that like that, and I should drag the next one too. Like so. Cool. So that's done. Uh, and we can just add some wedges here, or some pyramids, whatever you guys want to call it. And we're going to add those in there, and this one there. Cool. Not bad. Okay, so we've got that, uh, and these should go, I mean, it shouldn't go that far back, and I think these also go, they start to wedge themselves, so we can do like a, delete that, we can do maybe a two wedge there, and maybe, or oh, let's do another two wedge. We do need space for the landing gear, of course, so I'm just keeping, keeping that, does it go further back? I can't remember if it goes further back, I need to check some reference pictures and things of the A10, I think, I mean, let's just do this for now another one over here and i mean we can do this over there like that sure we can all even move this into like a one by four if we really want to and in theory then our landing gear is going to be inside here so this is where all of our landing gear is going to be housed and it will fold up from here into the front and this is where it's going to store it so i mean we can go from here now and grab Got some pipes or something i mean we could use use some electrical motors uh, just as a placeholder so one two three i guess yeah sure why not and a wheel okay we've done that so we're going to grab a one by three it doesn't matter what direction this is facing at the moment this is just a placeholder so i think that should be all right yeah that should be good and we're going to do the same thing in the front now so i mean the problem is that we don't really have any space now to hide our landing gear. So in real life, this would fold forwards, but because of Stormworks and the size of this rotary order cannon, it's going to be quite hard. So I might make it fold backwards. So I mean, if anything, it's going to be coming out from roughly around there. Yeah, so we'll do there. One, two, three, and four. Because remember I said the front is going to be one higher than everything else. And then we're going to go out like so. Take symmetry mode off, delete that, and grab our wheel piece and stick it there. So that's what I got so far. I mean, let's get rid of the stilts now. And the stilts at the back. Now we still have weights at the back, which should be all right. I mean, we might be able to move remove that now. Let's go and spawn and see what it's gonna look like. Oh, we forgot the one stilt. But hey, that's not bad. That's looking pretty cool. Okay, let's delete the other stilt, and then we're going to work on the wings a bit. I'm going to delete that, and I mean, we could probably add... Can I fit another one of these control surfaces here? Can you give me a control surface? For flaps and things, we could maybe do it here. Will it fit? Oh, it's just one too small. Okay, I might want to extend these out then. Uh, let's do that. Cool, so I've done that. Uh, so that means now... We can join this together and I can then use the space to bring another control surface for flaps and things. Don't know if the real one has them, but I mean, for now, why not? That should work for us. 
And we can do that. I mean, we could even do it like this and then put a one by four wedge to angle this because I might want this to be like too thick wide. Do that. I mean, like that. And then underneath, we could do that. And then here, fill this in, fill this in, grab the control surface again, which is over here. Now, I don't care what direction these control surfaces are on at the moment. While I'm doing this type of build, I will always, always start with just getting the stuff on and then refining, refining, refining later on. And I mean, like here, you could use, you could do something like that to make it look a little bit over here. And I guess you could do that and grab a one by four pyramid, like one of those. Stick one of those in here. Yeah, that should be right. And we'll grab another one of those. And that way we get the slant. Now, I know a lot of people, what they do is when they build A10s is they like to do the slant at the top. But for me, you know, if you're, if you're doing the landing gear like this, you still achieve the same thing when it starts angling itself because you still get a nice long slant here at the back. I mean, we could even lower this landing gear at the back even more. But I mean, that's not bad. What do you guys think of that so far? Okay, let's do the last thing I want to do is probably the wings. Now, as I said, I wanted to use some hinges and that way I can actually move this a little bit up and down. So like here. Perfect. There. And then we can go and get rid of this. Grab this. That. Do that like so. Grab that like that. Delete all this extra stuff here flash delete that put that there and then we can do the same thing all the way to about there and then we got one by four wedges like so now of course this is not going to stay like this we will round it out we'll make it look a little bit smoother a little bit cooler uh, but for now i think this is fine and i think doesn't the original one also has a little piece here that kind of goes down so it's kind of got like that from correct kind of goes down on the edge now these things go and angle up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a constant number where is constant number i'm going to stick that somewhere inside my creation i mean we'll get rid of it later but for now let's stick it there let's grab a battery also and stick it there and we're going to go from the battery to the two hinges and we're going to go from my number to those two hinges and we're going to put like what 0 0.01 to start with and we'll adjust that that figure i'm going to start with like 0. Point, yeah one should be fine let's want that in and have a look how it's gone angle the wing not much but like just ever so slightly and now we can do that again i mean the wings are probably a little bit too big on my creation but you can always adjust this let's go like 0.4 yeah and you can see straight away how that looks so i think Guys, that is a great place to end the first part of this build series. Nice, quick, little design of my A10. Hopefully, it's relatively close to realistically the right size. And we've got the big Gatling gun in the front, a rotary gun. We've got, what, three medium drums here. So this is going to be fun. I mean, how many rounds can we fit in each one? Let's put rotary. All right, so we've got 300 rounds. I mean, we can make them bigger. Uh, I wish the devs would increase the size of those drum mags, but hey, you know what? We're fine. I think that's going to be quite good for our capacity. And uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Guys, I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of this and what you'd like to see added on. We're going to add missiles. We're going to add some bombs on here. I remember I've got the nice compact little missiles we can add on. We can do add some nice compact little bombs. Uh, and eventually this will be used obviously on the workshop for you guys to play with. And we're also going to be including it in one of my new upcoming add-ons that will do a uh, A10 run for you. You can call it in. So that's going to be quite fun. Guys, let me know in your comments what you think about it. Uh, as always, if you haven't enjoyed my videos, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Until the next one, we will see you then.